Hi everyone, my name is Brian. I have borderline personality disorder and one of my favourite hobbies is gaming and so I thought I'd go over pretty much my favourite franchises uh, but mostly just games that help me when my mental health is not great and especially because therapy is on a Tuesday and after therapy I just like to deflate and zone out. So Pretty popular one for mental health, Animal Crossing. Don't really need to say much about this. Everybody's heard of it. Next one is Atelier Riser. Despite the kind of deep and complex alchemy system, it's a relaxing series to play. There's no high stakes in the story. I mean, there's bits, but it's quite, it's just such a relaxing experience. I really like the gameplay loop of going out, gathering materials, battling a bit, doing a bit of the story, and then going back and doing some alchemy. Such a great gameplay loop and definitely recommend it for a chill experience, especially, again, the Atelier series, uh, uh, the Riser series, sorry, and probably Lulua as well, and Sophie. Next is a favourite franchise of mine, uh, but this one I can just zone out and just mash buttons and mildly dissociate doing it which is kingdom hearts melody of memory but again kingdom hearts in general absolute favorite um and also it helps that the music of kingdom hearts is so brilliant like and it's just i think just because it's one of my childhood favorites as well it's just very nostalgic to listen to all the music um including some of the disney worlds as well so yeah big one Next is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Again, I like Pokemon in general, but I've completed the story for this um, and pretty much the Pokedex. Um, I've got the Shiny Charm and stuff. So sometimes it's just good to go on it for an hour and just ride around on Weird Ear, fly on Braviary, do a bit of shiny hunting and just go around the different landscapes. It's just a very chilled experience. And the last one is Yokai Watch. Now this one's in Japanese. Um, for Switch, praying it comes back to the West. Um, but the Japanese, like, it's not much of a barrier. If you've played the other games, you kind of know what you're doing. Um, and also there's guides online. Um, but yeah, it's become one of like my favorite franchises since like last year, I think. Um, starting to collect the other ones, hoping to get three soon. Um, but yeah, I just love trying to befriend all the yokai and Especially in Yoko Watch 3, uh, there's a lot of content in that and it's given me such a good feeling of like a franchise. Uh, that didn't make any sense. Hmm. It's, uh, again, it's become one of my favourite franchises. Um, I don't like calling it a Pokemon clone, but I just like that it's very similar in terms of monster taming and collecting and stuff. So yeah, those are my favourite franchises and games that help in a mental health funk. One that I don't have physically is Grow Song of the Evertree. That's really relaxing. Very, It can get very repetitive, um, but sometimes I like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what games help you if your mental health is in a funk and hoping to do better with these videos. I'm starting out here. So <laughs> yeah, hope you've enjoyed.